We are navigating the Math Smarter Balanced Practice Test and Performance Tasks. During this presentation, we will demonstrate practice test options and show classroom activities and their corresponding practice performance tasks. To access the practice test, the following web browsers can be used. Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and Internet Explorer versions 10 or 11. It is suggested that Chrome be used. We will first take you to the Washington Comprehensive Assessment Program portal. Please note the web address. We are going to focus today on the practice and training test for Smarter Balance. First, click on the button to take the practice and training test. Once you click on this, you will be redirected to a sign-in page. All fields will auto-populate as guest. Click sign in. You will then select the grade level that you wish to see. Then select yes. You will then be provided with three options for math and three for ELA. The training tests are for the grade band and are under 10 questions in length. The practice test is grade level specific and meant to mirror the computer adaptive test that students will take on the summative assessment. However, this practice test is not adaptive. When a test is selected, we are then taken to a page where accommodation settings are customized for individual students. Click select. The next page will confirm the settings. Then click Yes, Start My Test. On this page, there is information about tools in the test. Go ahead and click Begin Test Now. As students work through the test, they must have an answer input before they can move on to the next page. However, they are able to go back to questions as long as they are within the same section of the test. Once students have worked through the entire computer adaptive test, there will be a button for the students to end test. For these practice tests, the computer does not auto-score the responses. However, there are scoring guides available for the practice computer adaptive test. If you go to the initial practice test screen and click on resources and documentation, you will then click on the scoring guides link. Under the 2014 column, we can find the scoring guide for the Grade 3 math test. These scoring guides are a test map for the teacher as they contain information about each question and its claim, target, DOK level, and the standards associated. The scoring guides also contain an answer key and rubric for each question. The third option for practice tests are the performance tasks. Before administering the computer-based performance task, the corresponding classroom activity must be administered. These take about 30 minutes. Their purpose is to level the playing field for all students regarding the context and scenario of the task, not to provide instruction on the math content necessary to complete the task. Copies of classroom activities are available if you return to the resources and documentation and then click on the classroom activities link. Since we are giving the third grade math performance task, we will click on the grade three math classroom activity. This will open a PDF that details the classroom activity for the test proctor. The classroom activity is to be administered no more than three days before the student takes the online computer-based performance task. This particular online computer-based performance task contains four questions to be completed after administration of the classroom activity. During this presentation, we demonstrated how to access the Smarter Balance Practice Test from the WCAP portal, demonstrated the practice test options, grade band shorter training tests, grade level specific full length practice test, and practice performance task. 
we also showed you how to access the classroom activities that should be administered before each performance task. If you have any questions or feedback regarding this tutorial, please contact either Nicole Wombold or Roy Tatlanghari, instructional facilitators with curriculum and instruction.